What's up guys, Faisal here. Right about some more governments giving us a bombshell report telling us that we will probably see the M2 iPad Pro's launch and the budget iPads launch in a few days. So let's delve into it. So beginning with the iPad Pro's, we were expecting this to drop on the 24 alongside the release of iPod 16.1 but of course. Garmin does suggest the hardware might release a week before on the 17th and that's in a few days. In addition, this report does also suggest the upgrade might be minimal with these iPads and really the only change might be the M2 chip. So yeah, the M2 chips sizable improvements over the M1 but of course. As I have said in the past, these powers are kind of useless. Especially with the software still being limited on iPads, we don't need anything beyond the M1 chip and so these upgrades kind of pointless. And yeah, that's literally the only thing Garmin mentioned the design is going to be exactly the same according to his process and so that does rule out any possible ability of MagSafe to a thicker chassis for a bigger battery, new cameras or anything else. See as I can definitely understand why Apple is dropping this so suddenly next week because the upgrades are going to be very minimal. And so no even for this makes sense having a low key press release in the better move and like Garmin tell us Apple saving their market budget towards bigger releases like the VR headset we should see in Jan does make sense. And for those who are disappointing by the news of remember that. Of course, you should not be able to get the M1 models for less and so I do think there is going to be good deals to be found on those models and so definitely do get them instead. I intend to buy M1 model instead of M2 models outside the US due to price hikes with these M2 models similar to iPhones. For much less, they provide the same experience. Apple does however have plans to develop a duck for the iPad next year that will essentially turn it into the Google Assistant and Siri Hub. Amazon sells which makes sense because Google has announced a similar concept with the upcoming Pixel tablet which also have ducking accessories. So the iPad following suit would make perfect sense since many consumers use their iPad indoors most of the time. Having a duck where you can of course make sense place the iPad charge it will also get much better speaker I think that makes sense. My only worry is of course the price of the duck pickers. Apple being Apple is gonna be pretty expensive. Now by the way Garmin does actually interestingly tell us we should not see any of the other rumored product with these iPads the Macs are going to release in November I believe and as for the budget iPads. Garmin says soon pretty vaguely so I am not sure when that going to release. Hopefully with this iPad because considering this is a boring refresh, we do need the more exciting budget iPad refresh alongside this also. Apple does have an earning calls on the 27 and Apple has often released products just before earning reports. And so yeah, the iPad's next week makes sense and by the way, do you want to clarify? One thing and that is I am predicting the announcement gonna be on the 17th. But of course it can be anything next week because Apple does not have a set schedule with their press release. They do them whenever they like and very source a matter of days of could be Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday of course Monday is I suggested. Personally I think Monday makes sense because we have had iPad over 16 is going to release on the 24th so the week prayer to that makes the most sense also Gormis did drop this newsletter a little earlier so that does suggest the press release will be on a Monday.